Okay, so we're going to do some editing on Touch Chat HD. Uh, the first thing you need to do is make yourself a list of the things that you would like to add. I have just made a very quick list here. Um, we've got five things to add today. So the first thing we need to do is think about what a logical place to store those words would be. So um, the first one that we're going to add is me. So we will look at people and school people. We've got teacher up here, so we're going to leave teacher because that's quite a good generic term so that if um, the user doesn't have the teacher's name or there's going to be a new teacher or a supply teacher, teacher's quite a, a good one. Um, so we're going to do menu, edit page. I'm going to find a suitable location, which is that one there. Edit this button. The button label is going to be my name. Auto corrects every time. Um, we're going to have you've got three options for image now. So you can either select an image from the symbols library. So if you were to choose one from here, it's probably going to be um, you're going to need to look for teacher. And then you're going to come up with all sorts of generic ones. The trouble here is going to be when you've got more than one teacher. So if it's something as personal as a teacher, I would suggest that you use an actual picture of that person. So then again, you've got two options. You can either select an image, uh, sorry, import an image from the image library. So if you have a picture of this person already on the camera roll, um, or you need to use the camera to take a photograph. So I'm going to use the camera now. And take a photograph of me, use that photo and save and then click done. Miss Hines. And there we've got the first one done. So next on our list of things we need to add, vocabulary we need to add is mum. So we're going to find a suitable location for mum. So if we go home and people there is already um, a mom, which is very American. So if we do menu, edit page, and we're going to click on mum. We're going to edit this button, and then you need to decide what you would like to be called. So if you don't want to be called mom, you change it to mum, and um, that's fine. And then if you'd like the image to stay as a generic mum, again, that's fine. If you would like to personalise it and use a picture of you, you can um, import an image if you've taken one on the iPad already and there's one sitting on the camera roll or you can use um, the camera to take a photograph of yourself. So I'm going to um, import an image and take a photograph. Again, I'm not mum, but for this purpose I will be. There we go. Save and done. So we've done Miss Hines and we've done Mum. Now we're going to do the family pet because it's quite important that you can talk about your pets when you're uh, around and, and, and being social. Um, so this is where you need to think about where you'd like to store this. So for me there's two options. There's people and on the people page you've generally got like immediate friends and family. So it depends whether you class your family pet as a member of your family or whether you class them as groups, animals and pets. So if you think that the user isn't that keen on the animal and classes them, would like them more uh, categorised with the other animals rather than in the family, that's fine, that's up to you. Um, so I'm going to go into people and I'm going to, that blank page there, that button right there is going to be where my family pet lives. Um, who isn't around at the moment but is usually on the floor so I'm going to take a photograph of the floor because that's where he usually is there we go use that photo save done okay so now we've got that there. 
The next one is where you need to be deciding whether you want to use images or symbols. So the reason I've chosen melon is because looking at my fruit bowl just on the other side of the table, I have a melon easily to hand so I can take a photograph it if I wish. Um, but the other way I'm going to show you is by using the symbols. So if you need melon on there, you need to have a look whether it's already saved. So groups, food, fruit and veg, and melon is not on here. Ah, we've got cantaloupe and honeydew and watermelon. So if you wanted a more generic melon um, and you wanted to use a symbol rather than a picture, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So this is if somebody doesn't necessarily know what type of melon it is. So there's five images there for you to choose from. I'm going to choose that one because it's got all of them in it. There we go. So we've got cantaloupe, honeydew, watermelon, and then we've got more generic melon. So if you don't know what the name of it is or you don't like any of those types. And then the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to add Chester Zoo. So um, we need to go to places and we need to see that there is already zoo here. So it depends on how you want to teach the user how to talk, whether you want to add um, groups, geography, next page, and then add places like Liverpool, Chester, North Wales. So you want them to be building Chester here and then going back to places zoo, or whether you just wanna to go to places next page and then find somewhere to add it. So I'm going to add it here. I'm gonna import an image and I haven't got um, a picture of Chester Zoo because it's not readily available to me. Um, and so I'm gonna to have to go onto the internet and I have to go through Google and find images and I'm going to use this picture here and hold it down and do save image then go back here import image from the image library and there we go Chester Zoo Chester Zoo. There we go. So I've shown you how to take a photograph and import that. I've shown you how to find images, uh, sorry, symbols. And I've shown you how to save an image from the internet and then import that into TouchTat HD. So you should have all of the bases covered um, for adding vocabulary and editing. One of the things I haven't shown you how to do is delete a button. So for example, if you don't have a dad, you could do edit page, dad, remove this button from page. So that's the easiest way to do it rather than having to delete all of the words and the symbols because it would still always be there in the background rather than saying blank. So that's a useful, useful tool. Another feature um, that I think you just need to know about is um, the edit pronunciations button here. Um, it's already got quite a few um, pronunciations which are spelt differently than they sound um, but when you're adding people's names particularly people with names that aren't very easy to pronounce I would have thought Faye was but Fair. that's what Faye sounds like and obviously that's not her name so if we go to menu edit pronunciation we'll add a button uh, sorry add a pronunciation so the word that we want to change is Faye with an e um, and the way it's spelt phonetically would be F-A-Y. We'll listen to the pronunciation. Fay. So that's how we want it to be pronounced. So we save that, done, and then that should say Fay. Fay.